Welcome back. In this lesson, I'll be detailing the LCD opening. Let's begin by hiding the bottom housing and the circuit board. We'll right-click on the top housing now and select Edit Part. Let's go to the Surfaces tab and activate the Offset Surface tool. Select this surface. The offset distance will be half a millimeter. Let's click Reverse Direction and click OK. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Now let's right-click here and insert a sketch. Take a top view. I'm going to hide the solid body. Right-click, Hide. Rectangular tool. Let's drop it here. And exit the sketch. Surfaces tab, Planar Surface tool. Click OK. Now the Trim Surface tool, Mutual Trim Type. Let's select both surfaces, and selections to keep, this one and this one. Click OK. Let's insert a support plane parallel to the top plane. Insert, Reference Geometry, Plane. The offset distance will be 15 millimeters. OK, and let's take a top view. Now let's insert a sketch on this plane. Right-click, Insert Sketch. I'm going to place another rectangle here. Now the Line tool. Let's connect the midpoints. Right-click and select to exit the Line tool. Let's Shift-select the line in the origin point and add a midpoint relation. OK. Let's apply dimensions. Here we'll have 60 millimeters. Accept. This one will make 16 millimeters. Accept. Let's right click and select, then shift select these two lines. Let's check for construction. Now we'll shift select these three lines, two and three. Activate the offset entities tool. Distance of the offset, half a millimeter. And let's close the tool. Bring up the solid body. Let's return to the Features tab. Activate the Extruded Cut command. End condition will be up to surface. Let's select this surface and click OK. Let's hide the surface trim now. And let's hide Plane 3 as well. Isometric view. We'll exit part editing mode. The model needs to be updated. Let's do that. Let's shift select all of our parts, right click and show components. And we've completed the detailing of the LCD opening.